Hey guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics. Here in this video, let's understand op-amp ideal characteristics. Basically, op-amp will be having two input terminals. You can see here, inverting and non-inverting input terminals and a single output. And it will be having two input power supplies, V plus and V minus. When the op-amp in the ideal case, it will be having following characteristics. The very first thing is that the open loop gain of the op-amp when it is ideal is infinite. It means whatever the difference between the two input signals will be amplified and the gain of the op-amp will be infinite. That is the first thing. The second characteristic is that infinite input impedance. Input impedance is that the resistance at the input side is maximum. So we say infinite impedance at the input side it means the op-amp will draw no current. So current into the op-amp will be zero. And the third one is zero output impedance. At the output side, the resistance will be zero. So the maximum current which is coming out by the op-amp will be given to the load. So that is what zero output impedance means. Then zero offset voltage. This means the there is no difference between the voltage between the inverting and the non-inverting inputs when the output is zero. It means the output is zero in the sense the difference between these two should be zero. Then only output should be zero. If any input we are giving as a offset voltage from inverting and non-inverting terminals to make the output is zero, then we say it is not offset voltage zero. In the ideal case, a zero offset voltage will be there in the ideal case. Then zero bias current. It means the bias currents at the inverting and non-inverting inputs will be zero. It means no current will be flow into the input terminals of the op-amp. Then the next thing is that infinite bandwidth. Infinite bandwidth in the sense ideal op-amp will be amplifying all the frequency of inputs coming as uh, input from the inverting or non-inverting terminal. It means it will not restrict the frequencies to the limit. There will be no limit for the frequency of signals coming as input. That's we say the bandwidth of the ideal op-amp is infinite. And the next thing is infinite common mode rejection ratio. Here common mode rejection ratio says if the non-inverting terminal and the inverting terminal will be having same input, the output will be rejected and there will be infinite common mode rejection ratio in the op-amp in the ideal case. It means both the two terminals should not be having the same input. It will reject the common input between these two. Infinite power supply rejection ratio that is PSRR. Variation in the power supply voltages that is V plus and V minus. There is a standard power supply dual voltage we need to give for the op-amp. If there is a difference, uh, different of uh, dual inputs voltages we are going to give as power input, there will be no effect at the output voltage. It means you can give plus 5 minus 5, plus 7 minus 7, plus 12 minus 12 as a op-amp power supply input. Even if that changes variations in the power supply, there will be no change in the output we can say. And then infinite slew rate. Infinite slew rate in the sense the output change with respect to the input change. As the input giving from the inverting non-inverting terminal changes, instantly the op-amp is going to give the output change. That is what infinite slew rate means. Means there will be no delay in producing the output as input changes. Then the last one is that zero noise. Means if it is an ideal op amp, it will not introduce any noise into the signal while it is amplifying. So these are the 10 key points in explaining the ideal op amp characteristics. You need to remember infinite open loop gain, infinite input impedance, zero output impedance, zero offset voltage, zero bias current, and then infinite bandwidth, infinite common mode rejection ratio, infinite power supply rejection ratio, infinite slew rate, and zero noise. This is very, very important question. You will get repeatedly in your exams. Thank you.